So this is the unboxing of the Cooler Master Hyper 212 CPU cooler. I hope you enjoy it. Check it out. So now we're going to open the box here, and uh, all we have to do is flick the thing. Open the top. It's the open design. And then let's just see if it opens up like this. Okay, it looks like it's in the Okay, so you get the back plate. Uh, surprise, it's not in a little uh, plastic wrapping, but that's okay. So here we have all the other back plates. We have the thermal paste there. Uh, it's more stuff. So that's all just to get it onto your motherboard, basically. Okay, so it's a bit weird packaging. This is actually at the bottom of the packaging. You get obviously an installation guide, for all A and B and Intel sockets. That's all there. And it does open up bigger, but who needs manuals? Okay, so let's get the CPU cooler out so. Okay, so it's only a single tower of design, and um, it's a 120mm fan there, and you can actually put another 120mm millimeter fan on the back. So I do give you brackets here, so you can fit um, whatever fan you want really onto the back. An all black cable, which is fantastic. Four direct heat pipes, so it's supposedly meant to improve the performance of the cooling, but uh, we'll have to find that out in the review. So we have four there, little Cooling Master logo. At the top we have some heat capacitors. They look a bit destroyed. At the top we have a Cool Master logo again. So that's just been the unboxing. In the review, we'll give you some temperatures, go over everything you really need to know about the product itself. Also, this fan is actually specially designed to push airflow through the fins of the uh, heatsink itself. So, yeah, check it out. Cheers, guys. I'm out.